You get to choose. I'm either going to do this through Christ or not. I'm either going to trust him with my purpose and my life and his plans for me, or I'm just going to do whatever I think I'm supposed to do. I've told you this story before, and I love this story. A few years back, we were on a road trip. Jillian was three. And, you know, on a road trip, you got to take breaks if you got kids. And we walked into a gas station, and she was just running around in the gas station. And as we walked out, I noticed that she had something in her hand leaving that she did not have in her hand whenever we went in. And I knew that I hadn't bought anything for her. I looked down and realized my daughter is one out of 11 Americans. <laughs> she says, shoplifting spirit was on her. I was like, you can't just take stuff. And then I looked down at what she had, and I was even more disappointed. Girl had potted meat. Like spam, like potted meat. So I was disappointed on two fronts. One, she shoplifted. Two, I was like, look, if you're going to shoplift, steal a Snickers or some M&Ms or something good. Why did she take that? Here's why. Because it was eye level. It was whatever she could see. Even though she was holding hands with the one who had the resources to get her anything that she desired, she never asked. She settled for potted meat. Why are we settling for potted meat when God the Father has prime rib waiting for us, but we haven't actually made the choice to trust Him with it? 